This is where I actually was standing. I was standing here. Back in the way there, come on, please. People were coming out. All the injured were coming out here. Everybody was just here. Just waiting on news and who was left inside and and then my good friend came out and I asked for my, about my father and he just told me he was gone. And then to be honest, I can't remember much after that. Even at my age and younger, there's still a lot of hatred between the two sides and violence. And recently, down at the Short Strand, there was like a street fight between groups from different sides that was like organised by Facebook and all that. It's so ingrained in the culture. It, yeah, there's just so much belief in their cause. The truth, the mother of the lost. The show goes love, reject, lost. All around, be honest, be it. All the ways around, be honest, be it. Honest, no. Um, Sorry. Sorry, man. During my lifetime, there was I think it's 47 people was murdered in the Troubles on this piece, this piece of the road. This is the bookmakers where my father was murdered 22 years ago. This is memorial to the five that died. We got it built on a 20 years. And that's my father there, Big Wally. But you wouldn't even know my father because he's so dark and I'm so blonde. I wish it wasn't there, I wish it didn't happen, but it did. It's, part of my life and I look at it every day. I walk past it every day going to work and I pass it every day going home. I'm 16, so I was born in 1998, which is the year the peace process started. Sort of just a bitterness that it's under the surface, but you don't need to look that long for her to find it. It's in a lot of people because they're still quite close to the troubles. My family would have a sort of Protestant background. It's really confusing. <laughs> it's hard to explain. Over there is East Belfast. There's the Harlem Wolf Koreans. East, mostly Protestants. North is mixed. Uh, West is mostly Catholic and South again is mixed, but yeah, East is almost, apart from Short Strand, East is completely Protestant, like people would say it has sort of like a stronghold, was, yeah. This is the loyalist heartland of Ulster, they call it. We're on the Shankle Road. Shankle Road. You can see all the different wee murals in the corners. All the flags and stuff. It would have been about 1980. And the troubles were, were, were full on then. And their hunger strikes were on and, and stuff. And, and the politicians were on saying we need to fight against the IRA. Fight for this country. And, and because I was a fighter, I decided to fight for the country. Um, I joined the UVF, which is a, a loyalist organisation that was fighting against the IRA. And I believed it was doing right. I believed it was trying to defend this country. We weren't ashamed of it. We weren't in any way remorseful because we were fighting for a cause. 1985, after spending two and a half years in Roman, we all got sentenced to life. Six of us got sentenced to life in prison. And it didn't fizz on us. And because again, we're all together and it was like a journey and we're all loyalists sticking together and we felt like soldiers. I remember coming in, like, like a wee bit of drink on me and I'm coming in and opening the door in my mum's house and shouting up the stairs, is my dad in? He was murdered, he was dead. And she used to go, no son, you drinking? And I go, oh right, yeah. 
used to forget things. People don't realise the hurt that's left behind. And it goes on, it never, never, never goes away. Never. And that bitter, I would never let it change me. Because I think he brought me up as a better person. Plus, plus my, I have Protestant family, so we were never brought up that way. We were never brought up to see blue or green or orange. Just, he, wasn't, he was never like that. People over here on the Republican side will feel a big solidarity with people in Palestine because it's the whole thing about struggle and uh, oppression, but to counter it, loyalists are like, oh, we stand with Israel. And people say if uh, Republicans put up a McDonald's flag, loyalists would put up a KFC flag just to say, we don't like you and we're going to oppose you. I do love my city and I'm not sure uh, I feel of my country because I don't know what country I belong to, <laughs> if you know what I mean, but yeah, I love my city, I think it's, it's come, been through a lot. But 2008, my man started playing tricks with me, where it said to me that your wife hates you, your mum hates you, your kids hate you. At one stage a pastor came over here and talked to me and, and I told him I was thinking about taking my own life. Um, because I thought that would be the best for everything, because I looked at my horrendous background and I'm going, not the state of it, and, and what kind of person am I? And my kids are better off without me. And the pastor said, if you take your own life, your children will never, ever, ever get over it. Ever. In, the, in this room, I broke down and, and I cried out to God for help. And the minute I did, from the top of my head right through my body, I felt this surge right through my body. And, and I know I could save that day. People started asking me to speak around here and speak around there, and I was doing speaking all around the country and over in England and Scotland. And now it's mostly working with offenders and paramilitaries and loyalists and getting into them circles and saying them that, that what we've done, we got it wrong. On the Protestant side, they, a lot of people my age would think their culture is really being attacked because there's the restrictions on the orange marches and they feel really strongly about it. A lot of my friends would think there's going to be a United Ireland like in the near, like the quite near future, but then my friends that are half from the other side would say. No, never. <laughs> There's never going to be one because they'll always fight against it. The people who live next door, I think they're actually Polish. And the people who live next door to me there is from France and Algeria. And there's Germans living in the street. There's people from Somalia. They've just moved in. It's all over. Multicultured. Now, it wasn't like that when I was growing up, but it is now. Other communities from all other parts of the world are coming here and doing good. Do you know what I mean? They all seem to get on, so why can we? If you're a Protestant, you're a Protestant, you're a Catholic, you're a Catholic, it's you know what I mean. Over here they're just bickering at everything now and it's not funny anymore. They seem to be getting worse. I think it's hard to know where it's going because anything could happen. You know, all it takes is for one person to be killed and then it's all started again, the Tifford Hat murders. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Precious Life, a fundamentalist anti-abortion protest group, is staging a vigil outside a pregnancy advisory clinic.